Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Clean with Barbie. In today's video I will be showing you how I clean this room. Conditions are very bad, right? But the story behind this room is more sad. Grandma lives here with her two special need grandkids. Unfortunately, Grandma got sick with COVID and her recovery took a long time. During that time, her granddaughter, who has autism, started isolating herself in her own room. When Grandma noticed the situation, she realized she needed help to get the room back in order. The rest of the apartment was very very clean but she wanted to do her best to create a positive environment for her grandkids let's see how it turned out Little way for me and we can start this job. She told me that I could throw away everything. That made my job very easy. The only challenging thing for me was dealing with spiders. At the beginning, I thought it would be a quick job. A single room filled with nothing but garbage. What more could I need, right? But the truth is, it took much longer than I anticipated. I started around 9.30 am and I didn't finish until 4.30 pm. Using a snow shower was a great idea and it significantly reduced the time needed for the task. However, it also tore on my back, which started to hurt and continues to do so. It's a sign I'm getting older. Look at how easy and fast it is to shower the trash. I also want to let you know that there is no bad smells here.
The next step is the mattress and in New York we have to use a cover before we throw it away. Actually I'm not sure if I'm right, I think in every state people have to cover before throwing away. The frame gave me a bit of a headache because as you can see it's already ripped everywhere and cockroaches and trash are falling out. I didn't have a chance to put it in a bag and I didn't want to just drag it through the whole house and leave garbage everywhere. So I just grabbed the scissor and I started cutting off the hanging parts. Guess why I got scared. This spider is a real monster for me. Anyway, I couldn't stop. This video is mostly shoveling and begging the trash. Um, unfortunately, I can't explain anything here. I can't give you a great advice how to start. It's just like simply shoveling and putting the bag. And this is how the room looks like after a couple of hours. It's getting clean. It's still not perfect. It's so far from done yet, but it's getting much better and it looks like a room.
I literally thought like, oh, what fun, like this spider web, it just looks like when I'm making a cotton candy, so oh my gosh, it's a fun, and in that time, a cockroaches was falling on me, but I talked to the spider, so I got scared. The grandma told me she has no idea what was the last time when she opened this closet. Yeah, closet. So I was very, very scared because of spiders. That's all. Nothing else matter. To watch this wall, I faced a bit of challenge. I ended up using ammonia and three different mops to get it clean. You might wonder why I didn't use microfiber cloths. Well, there were some stubborn stains in hard to reach areas, so I had to no choice but to use a mop. And I also want to tell you guys, it depends what you can see on me, what I'm wearing. I got that from my fan who is watching my videos and she definitely wanted to send me and I was so happy because it's so hard to find a great pants in my size because I'm very tiny. So I would like to say a very big thank you. Even if I use some cleaning products to clean this wall, I was need to scrub too. And finally, the last step arrived, washing the floor. As I mentioned earlier, this was quite a length job, so I didn't have time to let the floor soak. However, the owner assured me that she would continue to clean it multiple times and she was thrilled with the result. And now let me show you the before and after videos.
If you enjoy watching my videos, I kindly ask you for support by liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. Your support means a lot to me and helps me to continue doing what I love. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome back on my channel. I am Clean with Barbie. This is the second time when I'm visiting this lady. I already cleaned her kitchen in the last year. The conditions are very very bad. But I don't want you to judge her because she will tell her story soon. Okay guys, so this is the very first time when someone in front of my camera starts to speak and telling the story about why she lives like this. You can tell them your story. Hi, thank you. I'm, I'm very sorry, but my husband passed away. I turned to deep depression and then on top of that, I get diagnosed with cancer. I've been in the hospital for months. I let my house go. My house used to be beautiful. I've shown Barbara pictures. I used to live normal, but my whole life fall apart. I have no income. I got depressed. I got cancer. I just stopped caring even about myself. I look, I lose all my teeth. I'm losing my hair. Hopefully I'm in remission. I just got out of the hospital and Barbara came to help me. She's an angel. She's, she's sent from heaven. I appreciate her so much. This is not her first time helping me, but this is the first time I want you to know who I am so you can see the people she helps because what she's doing for me will help me get a good night's sleep. And I haven't had one since I left the hospital. And I appreciate her and I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. I just want you to feel better, so much better. I don't want you to live like this and I feel so bad because nobody take care of you. I used to take care of everybody. My husband, my kids. Everybody. I'm, I'm so, so sorry, sorry what happened with you. It's okay. I am so sorry. I thank you. You're an angel. I'm sorry because it took so long to come back. Oh no, please. I and now I really, really hope this helped to understand these people. I don't want to make this video too emotional because we cried at the beginning, but on the end we are crying because the room became so amazing and beautiful. It looks like a real home. And as you see, I started with the garbage and finally you wanted to see me how I'm doing a recycle. And at the beginning, I started to put everything in the same bag. And after I just realized, okay, this is not too much bottle, so it's easy to recycle now. And I started to do that. And I hope this is makes you happy, guys.
I don't know what country you live and how is in your country, in America, especially in New York, uh, people used to go all around um, to the place where we put the garbage. I don't know how to call this. And they are collecting all the the recycled thing like soda can or bottles like this the plastic and they make money with that so it's it's very good someone always doing recycle I really enjoy a room like this because here um, it's not full with stuff so I don't need to think about it how to make room for stuff but it's already everywhere here is just like cleaning it's so easy so smooth it goes very very fast and it doesn't make my brain tired she told me she wants to move the bed because now she can open the window and this is why you see i pick one corner and i start to wash the wall down and i start to wash the floor because i knew i'm gonna move the bed anyway so i want to make sure um the floor is already done and i don't have to worry about how to wash under the bed you know so it's a step-by-step -step job probably sometimes you don't understand why i'm not finishing why i started to wash the floor right now when it's the room is still not done so this is the reason I really enjoyed to wash these walls because the difference of the clean and the dirty, it was so satisfying to see it. This cleaning was um, six hours and I know guys you always want a long video but it's very hard to make a long video because I'm recording four hours and I have to cut out a lot of lot of parts because it's not looking good and let me tell you something it's very hard to speak under my videos because I never know what is really interesting what I'm saying and especially now it's 8.50 and i was working all day like physically and when i came home after four o'clock i just sat down and i started to editing my video and on tomorrow i have to go to the other house i also visited the lady before i cleaned her um kitchen and i'm gonna have an interview with the spanish tv finally i'm so happy about that and yeah so it's like my brain is totally tired but i have to do this video because you know this is youtube schedule and i really don't know sometimes how to explain what i'm doing that is wax on the wall and i can do anything with that actually i'm so lucky because the bed will cover it it was time to take a little break It's always a hard question what to do when the floor the wood floor is looks like this because if i'm using too much water then i can destroy the the floor or it's same with the wall you know but in the same time i just can't leave like this i had my scraper and i started to clean up very very gentle just because um, this is an old house the floor the wall everything is old it doesn't mean i don't have to take care i can be in like an animal and it doesn't matter if i make any damage no i can't so this was the best idea and i was i i tried to be gentle as much as possible So this is why I told you don't be surprised if I finishing with one corner and after I'm just going to the other corner because I try to make this clean smart because as you see I already moved the bed. And of course this spray bottle is just broke and it's not working anymore. I love this. 
I just want to watch this part over and over again because the difference is so amazing. You're always asking me guys if I'm doing any exercise and now I say yes, I do. At the first time when I stepped in this room, I was worried about the boxes in the corner because it just not really looks good. And then I realized, oh, wait a minute. There is a, I wanted to say cabinet, but no, it's a closet. There is a closet. So let me see what is in the closet. My experience is usually the closet is full with stuff, but in this case, it was like a dresser, and it was empty, so I could just push those boxes into the closet. I was very happy about that. Today is the barkeeper's friend's day because I used almost only that product for everything and it works amazing i don't want to say anything about the wall but look at the wall guys it's so amazing I told you, this is the barkeeper's friend's day. Look at this guy, this lady is just taking my job. <laughs> <laughs> you doing a very, very good job. Thank you. And she made all the dishes too. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Let me tell you something interesting, guys. I not really like those videos when someone is cleaning an amazing, shiny, brand new home because when people seeing my video when I'm cleaning old houses and it doesn't matter how much I'm cleaning it doesn't matter what products I'm using it's never gonna look like like a brand new home the furniture is old it's like some furniture is 20 years old and when people judging people seeing my video they say like oh Barbie I'm sorry but you are the worst cleaner ever because you don't know how to clean no guys I want you to understand this is old houses with old furniture. It's never gonna look like a brand new. How many times in my video I told you this is a Barbie thing and this is a Barbie thing. So now you're gonna see a couple of minutes real fight with this nice stand. Uh, 
Actually, this is not funny because I really started stressing about I broke this furniture. I was literally like, I hope if I start to clean, it's gonna look so much better. <laughs> Oh, holy moly, finally. So at the morning when I saw her bed, I already knew I will buy her a new um, stuff for the bed because it was um, dirty and not healthy and she told me um, she's gonna do the laundry on the next day, but no, I just, I just definitely wanted to her tonight a very clean bed so i started to mop i started to wash the floor first and after i went to the 99 store and i bought some stuff for the bed Okay guys, do you remember for this pan, um, I was spraying with the down spray and look at this, how strong is that spray? This pan was um, aluminium and it was um, a very tiny hose, but for now I just wanted to show you um, how strong is the spray and later I'm not, I'm not showing every moment I um, was washing a little bit more because as you see it was still uh, burned in those holes
probably you are in the same situation um, you can afford for now a new countertop or or more furniture for your um, kitchen accessories so these little containers are perfect to you know to put away all the plates for something everything what we need in the kitchen so don't feel bad if you can afford it these are perfect And these drawers, it's also very, very good. So I totally understand that some family can afford furniture, but still they need to put their stuff somewhere. So it's perfect, guys. You can buy it. It's not too expensive and it's good. She had a lot of stuff on the table so I wanted to um, put them together and I wanted to organize uh, a little bit and I used this um, drawer for, for food and teas and rice, canned food. I was so positive at this moment because um, I didn't see uh, the paint on, on the top and then I realized I can clean it down and you know I, I told you many many times I, uh, in this case I didn't want to make this perfect because it's garbage and she's gonna get a new one.
Welcome in New York, where the supers can fix everything. Her microwave wasn't very bad inside so that's the reason why I didn't show you and outside it was a very little dusty and it was easy to clean it. Many times you guys told me I should eat something so I was enjoying a protein bar and I was thinking about it. What is the next in the cleaning?
I don't know how awesome the greaser it works on other surfaces like a very burned um, stove or, or a um, greasy countertop. Anyway, my experience is very, very good with other general dirt. Um, this chair was um, a little bit more dirty and this degreaser was working well on this surface. And here finally I started to wash the floor and let me tell you guys sometimes I really enjoy to wash the floor with my hand um, because I think it's more effective instead of the mop and actually she didn't have a mop um, she had one but that mop it works with with um, special liquid and you know it has a it has a pad for that mop and I, I don't prefer those mops so i like the mops with the with the normal head what you can wash over and over again anyway guys i don't have problem to wash the floor with my hand
If you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Bye! Hello everyone and welcome back on my channel. I am Clean with Barbie. Here is a very young single mom lives with her son. I already visited this family before and I have to clean the kitchen. Hopefully you're gonna learn a lot from this video because I'm trying to explain everything, how I'm doing, why I'm doing like that and you can use if you have the same conditions. The question is how to start a room like this? The answer is very very simple. As you see, all over is clothes on the floor. Because all the clothes has to go to the laundry, they are dirty, a donor has two cats, I found trash under the clothes, without any question, is laundry. So at the first time I started to collect in garbage bags and after I was thinking like probably this is not a real half, so let me just make a groups. I open a different bags and in one bag I put all the sweaters, in the other one I put all the pants and in the third one I put all the t-shirt and dresses which you can use on the top side and I started to collect the little boy stuff in a bin. Honestly, I really like to watch cleaning or organizing videos, but um, I am very critical with my video because I feel, again, I used to use this word, it's very dry, because here is nothing interesting, it's only how I'm collecting everything from the floor so probably it's boring this is why I didn't make a longer video and I don't know if it's interesting I know guys you like everything what I'm doing because you are so nice uh, but in this case it's very very hard to show you something something a big moment like look now it's more shiny than before so i am so sorry guys this video is perfect for a little saturday chill like you turn on my video and you're drinking your coffee and that's it guys or probably you're gonna learn something from my new video who knows So this was my idea and I think it makes easier the owner's life a little bit with these bags. If you feel this kind of job is overwhelming, you are right guys, even for me when you know I have experience with this kind of rooms, but for me this job it makes my brain very very tired because it's a many many colors, many stuff. I have to focus for the clothes for the first time because this is um what covers everything and after on the toys, but 
and the same time I see garbage and the same time I see uh, makeup and I have to control my brain to no Barbie now focusing only the clothes after focusing only the toys sometimes i'm very well with this sometimes i'm just like oh it's a trash oh it's a makeup oh no no please focus on the toys so it's even for me sometimes it's very very hard and after a couple of hours i feel like i burn out so now i need a coffee or something and then after a couple of minutes i can go back and start over and then i have new plans to how to do it so it's very normal guys even for me so i imagine what you feel with your own house don't be scared all the feelings what it goes through on you it's pretty normal sometimes you're gonna feel like oh i spent an hour in this mess and i didn't do anything no guys you did a lot trust in yourself you can do it So here is the next step, after the clothes I started to collect the toys, I found some uh, charger and now it was easier to focus on more things. Probably you can see some more clothes but it's much easier to handle than before when the clothes was covering everything. And while I was cleaning in this house, I had an interview with the Spanish language TV and I forgot to record. I really like to record and let me tell you why, because it's a memory for me. It's a very big moment. I'm not used to talk about myself too much in my videos, but... Um, Probably my story can be a motivation for someone. The reason why it's a big moment, every injury for me, because in my head, I am still that girl from Hungary, from Székesfehérvár. And I remember still the voice in my head when everyone said, Barbie, you are a very best student, so you're not going to reach anything in your life. They even was joking about Barbie, you're gonna be a cleaner, that's what you want? How ironic, I became a cleaner and now my job helps other people. I learned that everything what I'm doing or everything what I'm saying is not really interesting because I'm a best student. So when I was talking about my dreams, they always said, oh Barbie, don't dream too much because you are not a good student. You are not gonna have a nice school, a good school. So what you're gonna do in your life? So when you have to start your life like this, you want to show them you are more what you think about you. So this was my motivation. I always wanted to reach my dreams. I always wanted to get more what I had. That was my motto, that was my motivation. So this is the reason why every little interview where it's talking about my job, it's very important for me because this is a proof of myself. I didn't give up, I was fighting for my dreams. The reason why I'm just throwing the clothes in the bag is because if I pull all the bags um, close to me it's gonna be too much things around me and I didn't want to do that for my brain it's very important to see less stuff around me because this is how I can see through on the room and on the mess
at this point i was very happy because i already saw the floor and at the same time i was very very sad because you haven't seen the other side of the room yet As you see, she doesn't have too much furniture, but in the same time, she has a lot of lot of clothes, and this is very very common problem. But she just came out from the shelter not too long time ago, so um, she had no chance to buy furniture. This is number one. Number two, um, the management promised they gonna replace everything in the building. Um, in in her apartment. Sorry they're gonna fix everything she's gonna get a new floor they're gonna paint the wall and they're gonna fix everything so for now it's no reason to buy furniture because she just have to move out for the summer time and when she come back and her apartment's gonna be look so much better then she can get some furniture from somewhere So this is the other side of the room and it's still a real mess. You can see a heel there in uh, front of the door there where I was uh, collecting all the socks and swim sheets and, and things what it's like. It's not a t-shirt, not a pants, not a sweater. Anyway, so that was my idea and then at the same time I started to collect all the shoes together. I also made a heel and I started to uh, keep them in a box or in a bin yes yeah, so it's it was like i don't know probably it was a six hours i spent six hours in this room so it was a very very big job And here is the guy who made an interview with me. He was super, super cute and super nice. And here is my new kitty friend. At the first time he was very nice with me, but now on the second time he was super super cute and he really wants me to pet him. I used to get the question what the owner does, why I'm cleaning, sometimes they are talking with me or sometimes they are getting uh, motivated and they start to clean. In this case the girl was starting to her living room and she was organizing some clothes. And finally, everything is together. I put all the shoes, all the clothes together, all the toys together. So not really too much thing left. Only remove this stuff for temporary from this room. 
and sweep up and mop and the guy is gonna have an empty room finally yes yes i know some stuff is still on the floor but it's just five minutes Oh, this is the best feeling ever when after a lot of, lot of hours, you're finally washing the floor. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!